amigas, amigos, 8.17 minutos en la mañana aquí en WLSH FM, tu emisora de Radio Pública Comunitaria, Viernes Social, rodeado de damas preciosas, señoras y señores, y hoy nos acompañan otras dos damas muy guapas, muy elegantes en la mañana de hoy aquí en su programación de Café con Leche. Pido a las hermanitas cada vez que hagan la introducción de nuestras invitadas en la mañana de hoy. Es un placer tenerlas con nosotros. Yes. Hello. Hello. Good morning. 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 So just to introduce to our listeners, we have Dr. Amanda Kemp mm -hmm. and Rose Luciano, and you guys are going to talk to us about a workshop, uh, and it's called Say the Wrong Thing. Am I right? Yes. Excellent. It's based on Dr. Kemp's book, Say the Wrong Thing. Yes. And so talk to us a little bit more of, you know, what that entails exactly, what the workshop is about. And, you know, give us some details about saying the wrong thing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. First of all, I want to say um, thank you for having us here on Café con Leche. No, thank you guys. I haven't talking. had my café yet. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm, I think I'm all right. Um, I'm really excited to be here with you and with your listeners to tell you about this book, Say the Wrong Thing, and about the workshop that we're creating. Um, so the book is based on the idea that we need to have real conversations about race and racism. And we need to have those conversations with people across the race line. I think that a lot of us have conversations within our groups, but then we don't step across those lines to actually explore stuff. So this book is about not just to jump in and just say anything that comes to your mind, but to actually prepare yourself. And to prepare yourself to have those kind of conversations, you have to be willing to do some self-reflection, mm -hmm. some inner work. Absolutely. So one of the things, so, so I talk about strategies of the heart, and the heart is an acronym. Each letter stands for a strategy. So H, for example, is hold space for transformation. E is express yourself to connect. A is to act with intention. R, reflect on yourself. And T, trust the process. So if you hear in that, none of that says something about telling somebody off or yeah. um, going on Twitter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm really talking about let's have some real connection with each other. And um, Facebook is not going to give us that no. <laughs> in and of itself. We need to actually um, be connected to ourselves so we know what's really going on with us. And I was so thrilled when I wrote the book. Um, one of the first people who supported me was Rose Luciano. I mean, this girl just took it on herself to go out and tell people about it. Um, she went to the police chief. I had, she had bought a copy from me, one of the first people to buy a book from me, and she gave it to him and told him, you need to read this. And then he ended up coming to the, my workshop um, because, again, Rose uh, made that connection for me. So that's what we're about. We're about creating connections mm -hmm. and having real Um, conversations. Okay, we're going to translate a little bit for our non speak oh, non English uh, listeners. Thank you. Non English speaking listeners. Then if you do want to. Adelante. Okay. Entonces, el libro, decir la cosa equivocada es el libro. Mm -hmm. Si sí, lo traduzco bien, yes. lo, lo, lo mejora en este momento. Pero es escrito por la doctora Kemp y se trata de hablar de las razas y el racismo. Mm -hmm. Poder realmente hablar y conversar. Y, y expresarse no solo so, en, en el grupo de uno, de nuestra de la raza de uno, sino que cruzar esas paredes, digamos, uh -huh. del racismo y hablar con otros grupos, pero no argumentar ni, ni, ni hacerlo de una manera negativa, sino que constructivamente hablar de los problemas y de lo que implica ser de otras razas y el racismo en sí. Y nos cuenta la doctora Kemp que Rose, Luciana, fue de las primeras personas que la apoyó y antes y también fue una de las primeras que compró el libro de la doctora Kemp y se lo dio al, al, poli, al jefe de, de los policías de policía. que también fue al, al workshop de, de la doctora Kemp que me parece espectacular vamos a ver cuál fue la experiencia de Rose al leer el libro yeah. qué te pareció eh, Rose so um, not only was I given the the book my experience with the book um, I got to experience the workshop mm. Uh, and and watching Dr. Amanda Kemp in action, it and watching her hold space and conduct those crucial conversations um, is pretty amazing and phenomenal. Uh, the work is hard work, and but very ch it it's hard, but it's so rewarding when you watch it um, happening and. Yeah, I, I love the work that she does. I'm a true believer, supporter the whole way. Uh, I am 
big time in sharing because it's the work that needs to be done. Yeah, and Rose's organization, she just started a Fruition Collective, which is a venue on West Walnut Street right here in Lancaster mm -hmm. that is a perfect home for this workshop. Do you want to say a little more about it? Uh, yes, please. May I? May yes, I? absolutely. Yeah, so we, um, I just, on the 23rd, I'm going to actually have a ribbon tying ceremony. It's our grand opening. And uh, it's a location, it's a beautiful venue, and it's affordable. Um, so you can have quinceañeras there, you can have a wedding there. But it's also a place that we can hold these workshops and everyone can come in and feel safe. So it's, it's a beautiful venue, but on top of the beauty, it's warm and inviting. It, it holds all of the elements. Mm -hmm. Okay, I wanna know a little bit more about like what happens at these workshops. Like you're, you're talking about some hard topics here, mm -hmm. especially now that you know people are talking about race and racism and the variety of events that could imply or could not imply, um, you know, those touchy topics. And how, what, do people say like how do they react because you know some people get are very particularly sensitive about their race yeah and you know tell me about that experience because like yeah. people you want to know because it's hard sometimes to open up yes. when you're not comfortable yes so yeah tell me more about that because I'm yes as, yes as excited <laughs> yeah Veronica yes yes uh, I think you should come Veronica yes first of all. <laughs> yeah. I think you should so you can experience so the the way that we work is that we have to build an environment of uh, some trust and people getting to know each other before we delve into the things that might we might have some conflict or where we actually have some wounds. I mean, you don't still tell people yeah. your stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. You, you have to build that up. So right. over the course of the workshop, we build up some trust. We build up knowing each other. And then we go in. But we go in, um, as you said, constructively. We go in with these strategies. So the whole the first strategy is hold space for transformation. What is that? Yeah, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what it is 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 um, bring an attitude of unconditional love and unconditional acceptance to a person, to an interview, to um, a situation. So you just you holding because things can shift when someone is being a loving, unconditional, accepting presence. Anything could happen. People start to open up. People start to say, well, oh, maybe I should think about. People just start to soften up. When we get defended, you know, mm -hmm. that's when there's no give or flexibility, then there's no transformation going to happen. So the foundational strategy that we learn is how to hold space for transformation, how to be a presence of unconditional love and unconditional acceptance without necessarily becoming somebody who agrees with Donald Trump. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not saying you have to change your values. Sure. But you can be a, a space of unconditional love and unconditional acceptance. And you can be someone who believes in justice. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. I'll let you go. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we want to share. We want to share. Okay. De la doctora Kemp le pregunté le, de la experiencia de, en los workshops, porque estamos hablando de temas eh, complejos por un lado y también que ahora la gente es mucho más sensible sobre la raza y el racismo y ella y de los primeros etapas que ellos o de los primeros pasos que ellos introducen es mantener espacio para transformar la idea de que uno entrar con una actitud abierta y con llena de amor para aceptar lo que va a pasar aceptar esa transformación que es la idea para conocerse bien para hacer esa esa confianza entre la gente porque estamos Pero hablando de gente confianza. que no se conocen antes es gente que va y entra y tienen que tener ese, esa confianza porque algo que dijo la doctora Kemp fue que uno no, de repente uno no le empieza a hablar a la gente de los temas sensibles uh -huh. porque eso también va a causar problemas pero la idea de conocerse primero y tener esa actitud porque si uno tiene una actitud abierta y con amor cualquier cosa pasa ¿Cuáles son las fechas de, de estos yes. workshops, de esas presentaciones? The dates of the workshops. Oh. <coughs> the workshop is, <laughs> we start on March the 21st. We run on five Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so we'll start next week, Tuesday, two days before the opening, the official opening of um, Fruition. And we will run five Tuesdays. So if you go on to the Fruition uh, 
website or the Fruition Facebook page, Fruition Collective, you'll see all the dates. There are five sessions. It happens over the course of eight weeks. We're not trying to... Um, we want to give people some space to actually implement some of these strategies so we're not trying to teach them all to at one time. Mm -hmm. We have a couple workshops, we have a couple spaces of implementation and then we come back and, and work again. Um, I also just want to say the thing about what makes, besides fruition being a beautiful space, and it really is beautiful, it's at 24 West Walnut, it's also a space where you know Rose is committed to having um, multicultural arts. Mm -hmm. um, so she's had did you have a, par a dance party there last night? I did. I had bachata. Um, so Aww. I had, I, yes, I had. <laughs> missed it. <laughs> yeah, we had lessons first, and then afterwards it just turns into a dance party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you have some other stuff coming up. I, a lot of dance stuff, actually. I, I do. I have um, the Get Down that's coming. Uh, so we're going to have some soul and R&B um, music, and uh, we have an instructor to teach you how to do some of the old school dances, Yay. and then it turns into the the vibe, and and it's early, so it's from 7 until about 10, 11 o'clock. For people my age. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. There's some other party they're doing that starts at 10. I don't leave my house at 10. Oh, well, if I I'm in at 10, I'm staying. No, I leave that time. There you go. <laughs> yes, and, and we have a local talent that was from around here, and she moved away, um, Yvette. Uh, she is with Speak to My Soul, and oh. she's coming back. Oh, oh yeah. Eva Cologne? Eva Cologne, yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. It's 24 West Walnut, right? Yes. Yeah. 24 de la West Walnut. Um, el costo por, por estas eh, sesiones con la doctora Amanda Kim es eh, 349 dólares por las cinco sesiones. Excelente. Señoras y señores, and this is for both men and women? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, of course. Yes. I, 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 <laughs> of course. Yeah, y, y queremos para que sepan a dónde es, es en Fruition Collective. Y vos, como dijo el, eh, Don Héctor, en la 24 West Walnut. Y es desde, empiezan el 21 de marzo. Mm -hmm. Y son cada martes. Sí. Empezando ese día. And it's, it starts at 6 p.m. So it's after work. Okay. Any yeah. phone number for more information? S yes, 717-333-9500. Six three. Six three. Tres 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 Si usted desea más información, señoras y señores, sobre estas presentaciones eh, que estarán siendo eh, presentadas el día, los días marzo 21 y 28, abril 18 y 25 y mayo eh, 9, comenzando sí. a las 6 de la tarde en el 24 oeste de la calle Walnut con la psicóloga Amanda Kemp. Y okay. también pueden ir al Facebook de Fruition Collective, ahí también van a tener la información del workshop y los otros eventos que tienen ahí. Que nos contaron también que bailaban bachata y otras cosas. Sí, más. sí. Entonces, pónganle atención a eso también. Como lo invitan. Claro, Please come, come. All right. Thank you. Do we have to pay? Uh, sometimes, you. yes. Okay, because okay. I'm a broke college student. So. <laughs> That's why I asked. But I'm working. I'm Maybe working you need on. an internship. Yes. Oh, and I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, guys. Señoras y señores, vamos una pausa muy breve y regresamos con mucho más aquí en Café con Leche.